Lovely. Now, moving on. As we go into Memorial Day weekend and say hello to summer, we say goodbye to some long-running, immensely popular television series with loyal followings. The programs that are ending are among the most significant programs in the history of television. A program like 24, which captured the post-September 11th paranoia and world we live in. A show like Lost, which led to considerations of mysteries and intellectual puzzles, the like of which we've never seen before on television. Dad, you died. I died too. The Lost finale sharply divided fans and critics by going out on a spiritual note. And the suspense of 24 was diluted because producers already announced that the flawed hero Jack Bauer would be back for a movie. Getting a finale right can be a tricky business. There really is no standard for great finales. It depends on what the show is about. A show like The Fugitive, for example, it wrapped up this ongoing story of Dr. Kimball. Back in 1967, the end of that show had 72% of U.S. households tuned in to see if wrongly accused Richard Kimball would finally catch the one-armed man and clear his name. Spoiler alert, he did. It was a satisfying ending for Sex and the City writer Amy Harris because she says it was true to the series as a whole. I need to know when that one-armed man is coming. To me, that was appropriate for the series. I loved Six uh, Feet Under because it felt like the whole show was about death. By the end of that episode, every major character dies, a fitting coda to a show about a funeral home that began each episode with someone's death. But when a finale starts to stray from the show's core ideals, the results can be disastrous. The deeply personal medical drama, St. Elsewhere, enraged viewers by suggesting the entire six-year run of the show had been the fantasy of a young boy. Well, it's only a year. That's not so bad. But maybe the most memorable finales are also the ones that are the most divisive. Seinfeld, the show about nothing, ended with a weird whimper. Because you only get one call. The prison call is like the king of calls. These characters sitting uh, in a jail cell talking their heads off uh, as they were throughout the whole series. It was a series finale so infamous that series creator Larry David poked fun at the controversial ending a decade later on his new show, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Larry, we already screwed up one finale. We can't do another. We didn't screw up a finale. That yeah. was a good finale. Yeah. Yeah. But when it comes to controversial endings, few ignite passions as much as The Sopranos, abrupt cut to black. A lot of people were livid. They thought their cable had been pulled. It was such a thrilling ending because that was his life. Every door that opened every day of his life was either the hit that was going to kill him or somebody walking in the door to sit next to him at a table. So I felt like that was a really exciting...